Welcome to this video on how to save your marriage. My name is Lee Balkum and I'm the Internet's leading marriage expert. Now, if you want to save your marriage, the first question you're going to have to ask is, should you even save this marriage? That's a pretty tough question to ask and I'm going to ask it up front because you see 100% of marriages have problems. Every single marriage has problems. About 50% survive those problems, so it's almost a coin toss. Now understand that divorces do not end relationships and they often only complicate them. I say that because many people have this fantasy that once they're divorced they don't have to deal with this other person and they are sadly mistaken. If you have kids involved, as the majority, the vast majority of divorces do in the United States, then you have to have a relationship with this other person for the rest of your life. So it does not end the relationship, it only changes it and often in very complicated ways. Understand that divorces remove all security that children understand. It, is, it pulls the rug right out from under them and it is not without consequences. There have been studies that have shown that kids are not affected by divorce and every one of those studies has been shown to be flawed. There are consequences. Kids can make it through life with, from a divorce. We all know that. But there are consequences to divorce and they are negative consequences for kids. Now there is an exception that I'm going to hold up and that is abusive marriages. I do not support saving abusive marriages. The reason I do is because abuse is dangerous and it escalates. It almost always gets worse and it is life threatening. So I cannot condone saving abusive ma marriages. But beyond that, I do think that marriages should be saved. But that's a question you're going to have to face. So if you've answered that, that yes, you do want to save your marriage, then you have to answer the question of where to start. Now, the only place you can start is with yourself. And in order to start with yourself, you have to stop the panicking, stop the begging, stop the arguing, and calm down. Our first initial response when somebody says, hey, I want a divorce, I want out of this relationship, is to get into panic mode. The problem with panic mode is it puts us in a pr very primitive way of relating. And that primitive way of relating is either fight or flight. We either want to struggle with them, that's, that's where the begging and arguing come in, or we just kind of walk away from it. These are counterproductive to where we want to get to. So we have to kind of calm down. We have to stop trying to convince the other person that they need to stay in the marriage. We have to quit begging them to stay around. We need to kind of to chill out. Uh, so that's where you start because you're the only thing you have control over. Your behavior is all you have control over right now. Now realize that this is not an overnight project. I say this because marriages don't get into trouble overnight and they don't heal overnight and this will take time and effort. Well worth it, but understand that you're in it for the long haul. This is not something that you can just snap your fingers and it's all done. Now once you realize that, I want you to do something. This is the beginning point of saving your marriage. Write down your spouse's complaints. Make a list of the complaints that your spouse has made for the last few years. I mean, sit down and make out that list. Everything you can think of that they said, I'm not happy because of this, I don't like this, I wish you would this, all those things, write them down. Now set that list aside for a little bit and then come back to it and with an open mind that's willing to hear the truth, Look at it and see what truth there is to these complaints. Now, they don't all have to be completely true, but there may be some truth in them. I don't like how much time you're spending away from the home may mean I want to spend more time with you, and you mishear that. Sometimes the I wish you would be cleaner you can take as a criticism, or you can say, gosh, maybe this person wants me to show some care and concern uh, for the house, for our well-being, for those kinds of things. So I'm, what I'm asking you to do is with an open mind, Look at the truth that may be in these complaints. Then look at them again and say, which ones are you willing and able to change? Sometimes someone asks something so outrageous that there's no way we could do it. It breaks our very values and our morals. And that's not what I want to talk about. I want to set those aside because they actually are very few and far between. And we basically use them to argue the point of why we can't do this. I want to look at this as how you can do it. Which ones are you willing and able to change? If they want more affection, can you be more affectionate? If they want to spend more time with you, can you spend more time with them? Those are the ones I want you to look at. And then commit yourself to make those changes. Now, it's not enough just to commit yourself. You've got to live it out. You've got to kind of show that you're making these changes. And understand that this is a big piece of this. You have to answer the question, is this fair? And is this as fair that this is being asked by you? You've got to be wondering that by now. Um, and you see, I'm not worried about fair. In fact, sometimes we get so stuck in this tit for tat, what are you doing for me, what am I doing for you thing, that we're all about um, not doing anything. We get frozen in that. So I'm not worried about fair. 
What about changing the, or saving the marriage? Because if you get away from that question of is it fair, then you get to the can I do this because I want to save the marriage. Now understand this. You will be treating symptoms. It's kind of like if you go to the doctor with a runny nose and a fever and a sore throat, they can give you a medicine to help your runny nose and your fever and your sore throat, but you still got a virus in you or a bacterial infection in you. And that's not what they're treating. They're only treating the symptoms. So if you want to learn how to deal with the real issues, it takes more than just a little video to tell you, I've got it for you, but you've got to go now to www.savethemarriage.com and find out what I have to say. I've got a blog there with lots of good information, and I've got an e-book that you can grab and a report that you can grab that's going to help you learn how to deal with the real issues of how to save your marriage. Go now to www.savethemarriage.com.